Hi guys, this is shared with an other video on easy math. Today we are going to discuss how to eliminate theta from trigonometrical expressions or trigonometric equations. Okay, what is mean by eliminating theta? Eliminating theta means you will have three or more given equations, more given trigonometric equations and you should solve them such that the resultant equation should not contain sine and cos or any other trigonometric ratios or theta. You will be given two or more trigonometric equation. You should solve them such that there should be no theta. Okay, no theta is nothing but you should replace theta with alpha. It means that you should not have any trigonometric ratios. First, let's see with an example x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1. This is an e trigonometric equation and there is another equation x sin theta minus y cos theta is equal to square root of a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. This is the other equation. Now we can do any operations on these two equations and we should, we should result in an equation without trigonometric ratios. First, let us think what can we do okay the main or the easy way to remember some type of trigonometric eliminating theta problems is that see if you observe carefully here we have x cos theta plus y sin theta okay if you keep that a and b side you got x sin x cos theta plus y sin theta here it has plus and x is related with cos theta and y is multiplied with sin theta but if we see here here you have negative sign in between and x is multiplied with sin theta and y is multiplied with cos theta if you have if this is the case you can square both of the equations because if you square both of the equations you'll get minus 2 xy sin theta cos theta if there is minus sign and you will have plus 2xy sin theta cos theta and those two cancel out and the remaining terms you will have x square cos square theta and x square sin square theta if you take x square common you will get cos square theta x into cos square theta plus sin square theta so you will result in x square so now if we square these both equations you will get x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta whole square is equal to 1 ok 1 is nothing but cos square theta plus sin square theta. Now let us take 1 as cos square theta plus sin square theta. You will understand its uses later. And the second equation, if we square the second equation, it becomes x sin theta minus y cos theta whole square is equal to the square root cancels out. So we will get a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. Let these be equations number 3 and 4. Now we should simplify these equations. Now, while simplifying equation number 3, if you simplify equation number 3, x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta whole squared, right? It is in the form of a plus b squared. Means, you should write a squared plus b squared plus 2ab term also. So, first, a squared, x by a cos theta whole squared. So, you will get x squared by a squared cos square theta plus b squared you will get y square by b square sin square theta plus 2ab plus 2ab you will get 2 into x by a cos theta into y by b sin theta right if you write them in order you will get 2 into xy by ab sin theta cos theta minus cos square theta minus sin square theta is equal to 0 if you get cos square theta and sin square theta to the lhs now if we take cos square theta common from the first and the fourth terms you will get x squared by a square minus 1 into cos square theta plus y square by b square minus 1 into sin square theta plus 2xy by ab sin theta cos theta. Now here if you multiply x square by a square minus 1 right 1 is nothing but a square by a square so you will get x square by a square minus a square by a square means x square minus a square by a square cos square theta. Similarly, 
the second term becomes y square minus b square by b square sin square theta plus 2xy by ab sin theta cos theta is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 5. Now, if you simplify equation number 4, x, x sin theta plus x sin theta minus y cos theta squared. So, you will get x square sin square theta plus y square cos square theta minus 2xy sin theta cos theta. And you, if you get remaining terms to the left hand side, you will get a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta is equal to 0. And from the first and the fourth term, if we take sin square theta common, you will get x square minus a square into sin square theta plus. Similarly, if you take y, if you take cos square theta common from the second and the fifth terms, you will get y square minus b square cos square theta minus 2xy sin theta cos theta is equal to 0. Now here we have minus 2xy sin theta cos theta, but here you have 2xy by ab sin theta cos theta. So we need by ab here. What can we do? We can divide the whole equation by ab, right? If we do that, you will get x square minus a square by ab sin square theta plus y square minus b square by ab cos square theta minus 2xy by ab sin theta cos theta is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 6. Now adding equations number 5 and 6, the 2xy by ab sin theta cos theta term cancels out. So you will get x square minus a square by a square cos square theta, right? If we, if we expand the a square in the denominator or if we write a square in the denominator as a into a, you can write x square minus a square by a into cos square theta by a. Plus, similarly from y square minus b square by b square into sin square theta, you can write that like y square minus b square by b into sin square theta by b plus and from the sixth equation you got x square minus a square by a b into sin square theta right so if we or if we divide a into two parts like a and b then you will get x square minus a square by a into sin square theta by b similarly you will get y square minus b square by b cos square theta by a is equal to zero now if we take x square minus a square common from the terms 1 and 4, you will get x, x square minus a square by a into, you have taken that common from first and third terms, you will get cos square theta by a plus sin square theta by b. Plus, similarly from second terms and the second and the fourth terms, y square minus b square by e, b into cos square theta by a plus sin square theta by b is equal to 0. If you divide the complete equation by cos square theta plus a by sin square theta by b, these two terms cancel out. So, you will get x square minus a square by a plus y square minus b square by b is equal to 0. Now, if we change x square minus a square by a into two fractions x square by a minus a square by a which is nothing but a x square by a minus a and similarly the second term becomes y square by b minus b is equal to zero if we send negative a and negative b to the other side you will get x square by a plus y square by b is equal to a plus b now we have got two equations right the first equation is x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1. And the second equation is x, x sin theta minus y cos theta is equal to square root of a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. And now we have simplified them to form a single equation. If you observe carefully, this equation does not contain any trigonometric ratio or the theta term. You just got x square by a minus plus y square by b is equal to a plus b. This is how to eliminate angle. Okay guys, this is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.